Hey everyone, so this is the first video for Captures Obsession on our new YouTube channel. Um, we're hoping to bring a lot of content to you this year. We're thinking we're not going to do quite as many tournaments as we have in the past. Uh, part of the reason for that is that we want to give some more footage out just uh, doing some fun fishing trips. We're also thinking that we're going to do a lot of filming of some of the weigh-ins even if we don't fish because we do normally try to, to hit up a lot of the weigh-ins just to see what the guys are doing. Um, catching any fish and, and kind of just hang out with the guys that we used to tournament fish with. So hopefully bringing a lot of tournament uh, videos, they're a lot better than the Facebook live feeds. If we can film them and then record, you know, and then upload them, I think that it's going to be a lot better quality, a lot easier to watch. So we're going to get you some more of that content this year. Um, we just recently went to Cumberland City to catch some skipjack. We ended up with a pretty good good amount. Um, it was 127, I think, was our total for about four hours of fishing. It's about a five-hour drive for us each way. Um, it was super cold, uh, less than 10 degrees for most of the day when we got there early in the morning. Seems like early in the morning is normally the time to go if you can get there at uh, first light. It's a pretty far haul to get there um, at first light. I think we left at about three in the morning. So. It all in all was, was a fun trip. If you guys are thinking about going down to Cumberland City, uh, I would definitely recommend it. If it's been a, a pretty good cold cold streak for you know a week or two and the, the water temperature is really cold, it's a great time to go. Um, they're normally in there pretty thick in January and February. If you can just time it right and get out, get out there on a cold day. If you guys got any questions, um, any content that you want to see this year, let us know. We'll uh, be sure to try to get that added to the channel. And um, here's going to be the trip. Last call. Dad took a job many miles from here. That, that was all right by me. I was on my own. Jay loves critters, and there's so many critters that, that need love, affection, and Saturday. Uh, if you just want to help out, So guys, this is Cumberland City. Um, this is what it looks like when you're down here. You got Talon over there, he just uh, pulled in a skipjack. So he's got one right there. Back to the rigs that we're using, um, it's just uh, Marabou jigs, three of them. Uh, we're in the process of getting uh, loaded up, putting the skipjack in the coolers. Just figured I'd show you guys what it looks like where you park how you get down to the ramp um, or to the the fishing bank um, so here's a power plant there's a bridge right here um, you pull up in this area you can park over here um, from there you can take a walk over to this side you can actually cross on the other side of the road too there's places you can walk down but you can actually fish all the way down here um, right where that tree line is you can walk down there there's a lot of different little paths you can walk down and you can fish this entire bank here um, we basically caught skipjack today all the way from the very point out by the river all the way up by where there's the dam which is down over in there um, as you can see you can park over on that side and walk down and get closer to that that dam wall um, or you know the other side of the bridge so um, we did pretty well we definitely didn't get our limit but um, definitely worth the, the five hour trip each way to get some skipjack before you know the normal dams around home have them in there in the spring so I mean it's worth it if you got time it gets you out of the house kind of beat those winter blues um, go out have some fun we would recommend if you guys come out here some WD-40 um, or like some rain X for your line because we come here when it's really cold, so, you know, less than 10 degrees. So your line freezes pretty bad. It can be kind of a hassle, especially in the early morning. So if you can bring like some WD-40, it makes a big difference. Um, also today we fished really slow. So we were throwing a, you know, marabou jigs. We had three of them tied up, um, throwing those off with no weights, um, just kind of letting them float and then retrieving them really super slow. Um, 
But if you guys got any questions, hit me up in the comments. Thanks.